All right, welcome back to another video. So this is just going to be a quick video to show you how you can create uh, command handlers um, using the command executor interface. So right now, uh, if we want to like handle commands, right, we can listen to this or not listen, we can override this on command method. And whenever a command is uh, executed on either the console or the server as a player, right, uh, it would run this method okay but you can imagine that it would become like really messy if we have lots of commands right we would end up having like a huge uh a bunch of if else statements checking what the command name is and that's not really a good efficient way to write code so here's a better way to handle this so what we want to do is let's first create a new class or new package first and let's just call this uh i guess commands and then what we'll do is we'll create a new class and you can just call this whatever you want. So we have only one command so far called TP request that it doesn't really do anything. So I'll just create a class name called teleport uh, request command. And uh, I'll go ahead and implement the, the command executor interface. And of course, we need to make sure we are overriding the correct methods. So if I hit control O, it's going to tell you that we need to override this or not override, but implement because we're implementing an interface, right? So we need to actually uh, implement the on command method. There you go. And it looks exactly the same as the one over here for the Java plugin class. Okay. So uh, what we'll do in order for us to actually register this class uh, inside the on enable method, We'll go ahead and call get command and we'll pass in the name of the command. So the name of our command was TP request. So TP request. And then we can just go ahead and call set executor like this. And then we can just create an instance of teleport request command like that. Okay. And then now instead of having to just do everything inside the on command method in our main plugin class. We can have individual classes that can be used to handle each command that we have for our plugin. Okay, so watch this. I'm going to go ahead and return true. And I'll write a system out print statement. Okay. Let's package our plugin. And let's do this. So we have both of these methods on command and teleport request command. So you'll see that if I go onto my server, so I'm on my server right now, I'll do uh, TP request. And then let's go into our logs. Oh, I didn't reload the plugin. Whoops. Okay, let's go over here. So if I do TP request, you'll see that it says inside teleport request command. Okay, see how it is no longer um, executing the code for this method because we have our own executor for this specific command. If I were to use uh, TP rec, the alias of TP request, it would use the same executor. Okay, now if I, of course, if I were to just get rid of this line, let's comment it out. Let's package the plugin again. And let's reload our plugin. If I were to do TP rec, you'll see that it's going to go ahead and call the on command method inside our main plugin file. So see how that works. So this is how you can, of course, set your own custom executors, which is great because now we don't need to worry about, you know, writing a huge if else statement by setting the executor. It can take care of all of that for us. So we don't have to manually check what the name of the command is. It will just invoke the on command method for this command in its corresponding class, which is great. And so we can have lots of plugins and we can have its own custom class. As long as it implements the command executor interface, we should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll create one more custom command. Let's just call this um, whisper, whisper message. And I'll just literally copy and paste, or not copy and paste, I'll just 
uh, set the description. We'll just say whispers a message to a new user. And then we'll set the usage to slash command message. So this should just be another custom command that we'll set up. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll create another class and I'll just call this whisper message command. And we will go ahead and implement the command executor interface like that. And then we just need to implement the on command method. And then we'll just return true. And then we'll just go ahead and write another system out print statement. So we'll print to console and I'll just say inside whisper message command. Okay. And let's just package this first. So we're not going to register or we're not going to set the executor yet. But I'll just show you how this is going to work. So let's reload the server. And now let's go ahead and use that command. So uh, whisper message, whisper message. And you'll see that, uh, wait, what? whisper message. I misspelled it, whisper message. There we go. And you'll see that it's going to go ahead and say, uh, console issued the command. So that is being logged from over here. Okay. And of course, if I were to set the executor, so we'll call get command, we'll go ahead and pass in the name of the command. So whisper message, set executor, and then create a new instance of whisper message command like that. Let's package our code. Let's reload our plugins. And now you'll see that after setting the executor, we are executing the on command method for that class. So there we go. So now you can create modular uh, commands. You can have its own individual class, set the executor, and it'll execute its own on command method, which is great. So that is going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next episode. Peace out.